Hello world, Shelly here, and today I thought we would do a get unready with me and talk through my vision board for 2024. I was inspired to put this together. I was watching Taylor Wynn's recent vlog where she was showing how she put her vision board together in Canva. I don't think I have ever done a vision board. I've thought about doing them lots of times and I'm pretty sure I've never done one. So I did one and uh, I'll try and put it on the screen or something. And should I move over so there's like space? Yeah, well, we'll figure it out. That's that's a problem for post-production Shelly. That's, that's not a problem for filming Shelly. So yes, I talk about myself in the third person. First person, third person. Now I can't even write. It's the end of the day. I'm so tired and it's only Wednesday. Literally filming this the day you're going to see this. Uh, it'll probably be late. Cause, oh, <laughs> I forgot to put my watch on at work today. Sorry, didn't mean to just give you the bird. But uh, yeah, so I don't know what time it is. No idea. Uh, 6.52 as I'm filming this? Yeah, it's probably gonna be late. So let's get on ready, shall we? Oh, first I wanna clip back. I'm not used to having bangs but I'm so glad that I cut them. I am loving having bangs. Like, I don't know. These are the best bangs I've ever had, I think. You guys can go back. I am doing this backwards. What is wrong with me? You guys can go back in the almost eight years of videos that I have up now and see uh, all the varieties of bangs I've had over the years, but I am pretty sure of all the bangs I've ever had, these are my favorites. So, I'm gonna start with micellar water, the blue cap one from Garnier. I still like to use this stuff to remove my eye makeup and it used to dry my under eyes out really bad because I used it in the very beginning of my channel and then I stopped using it because I had kind of narrowed it down to that being what caused my under eye dryness. But then that was before I was using the Clarins uh, the red jar, what is that pump called? Uh, Total Eye Lift. And that stuff is so magical, which I've now been using for a couple of years, at least. And uh, micellar water doesn't bother me anymore. This is my second bottle of it. So I went through a whole bottle. Um, it doesn't dry me out anymore. And I think it's because the Clarins is so good. I do a little double, a double dip. I take the makeup off. <laughs> there's all that mess and then I just go back in and get my mascara kind of hold it on my lashes I'm not like pulling on them or anything like I'm just running it you know just along my lashes to get the underside you know you know so the first thing on my vision board is this picture of a notebook and that is really just to sort of signify my intention to be more consistent with both journaling and using a planner for my business activities. I go back and forth with that. I love planners and I love journaling, but I get busy and tired and then I don't do it. So that is just to remind myself to be consistent in that area. The second one, which I don't have here right here, and I was just about to take a drink and I can't because I didn't bring my water bottle over here. Second one's a picture of a water bottle. Uh, I do highly recommend, TikTok made me buy it, the Circle water bottles, C-I-R-K-U-L. I will link them down below. I think I have a promo link where like, you know, if you order through my link, you get something, I get something. I don't know what it is, but they make these flavor cartridges that you screw into the top of the water bottle and then your water is flavored and they're all zero calorie. Yes, a lot of them have artificial sweeteners. So if you're trying to avoid that, you're not, that's not a solution. Some of them don't though. And some of them have caffeine. Caffeinated water, <laughs> brilliant, because I'm drinking way less soda. Now I've been using the circle bottle for like a year now. That's really just, you know, a reminder, it's an intention I want to continue. I developed a pretty good habit around drinking water. I am way lower on my my soda intake, my, my 
<laughs> Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar and my Mountain Dew Zero Sugar. Oh, they're, they're still my beloveds. I'm never giving them up. Sorry, I love them. But uh, doing much better on water consumption. So that's what the second picture is. Oh, I got this all wet when I was carrying my washcloth here. Cleanser. Truth Juice Daily Cleanser from Ole Henriksen. This is the one I'm using at the moment. I cycle through all kinds of cleansers. I don't really have favorites. Like I'm not loyal to any cleanser. It's hard I feel to be loyal to a specific cleanser because cleansers are just like, they're only on your face for a little while. So unless they bother me, like dry me out or something, then I probably like it. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to have like a like a die-hard, always my favorite cleanser because I I don't know. That maybe I just haven't found the right one for me yet. That could be. It could be. I tried to keep this washcloth wet enough that it would rinse my whole face without a sink. <laughs> this stuff smells like oranges and I love it. I don't wish for scent in my facial products, but if it smells good, you know, at least it smells good. Make sure we get the mascara under the eyes. No matter what, there will still be mascara under my eyes when I wake up in the morning. I don't know how. When I basically like triple cleanse, this is just a random towel that I got out of my closet and uh, didn't realize it was where the cats have been sleeping. So let's find a spot that isn't covered in cat hair and dry my face off. The third box on my vision board is just to remind me to get outdoors, do some more walking. I want to incorporate walking a little bit more intentionally into my daily routines. So that's that. The fourth image is camping, which I would like to do more of. I had, had, have a camping trip planned for early this spring, but I might have to not go on that trip if I get this one vendor event that I have applied for. I'm letting the universe make that decision for me. And if I get it, then I won't go camping. If I don't get it, I will go camping. But that is that. So tonight we are going to do very basic seven skins. It's gonna be my skincare for the evening. I've got my Class RX Centella Water Alcohol Free Toner. This is just a super basic hydration toner, which is what you want for seven skins. But I also have right here, I'm not gonna use this one today, but the Pixie Milky Mist is also really good for seven skins. You basically just want something that doesn't have any exfoliating acids, doesn't have any actives like retinols. You know, you don't want glycolic acid, you don't want retinols, you don't want vitamin C in there. You you want basic hydration. Hyaluronic acid's okay, it's just, hi it's hydrating. It's not exfoliating, but that is the the goal with a Seven Skins toner. Uh, one, two, three, four, fifth box on my vision board. I'm realizing that I'm probably not gonna have enough skincare to go through <laughs> all the boxes. I'll still go through all the boxes. I just might just have to sit and talk to you. That is a tarot card reading that I had done actually last March. And it was super validating and inspirational and lots of, of positive, like motivation for me and because it validated so many things that I th believed it terrified me and I chickened out and I did not act on a lot of things it's related to career and my business ventures and things like that so oh my face is getting get I need I need my hydration I, I cannot stand waiting waiting after Oh, yes. After I cleanse, I have to, have to hydrate. So that is to remind me to step back into my power and start doing some of the things that I've been wanting to do. That was one layer. Let's see how far we get. Now, if you see this and you feel like you have to tell me that I need Jesus Christ, just don't bother. Don't, don't waste your time or your energy. I went to Catholic school for eight years. Me and JC, we are like well acquainted and we are just gonna have to agree to disagree on this. Uh, I respect you worshiping whoever you want. Please do the same. And if you can't, that's fine. 
there are lots of other creators out there. You can you can scroll past, you can find someone that resonates better with you. That's fine with me, but don't don't waste your energy. I know JC. He's fine. He's just not for me. Sixth box. That was number two. Sixth box is a hoodie that I designed, which is something I've been doing lately, if you've missed it. God, I'm still dry. Holy cow. We might hit seven today. There's three. So my t-shirt design business, it's a print-on-demand business primarily right now because I can't afford a uh, DTF printer, which is my one of my end goals. So it's partially on there because my goal is to keep building this business. And so right now it's a print on demand business where I d upload my designs and they get printed as they're ordered by professional printers. I do have a heat press, like a pro heat press, and I do have a sublimation printer, but you can't print all of these kinds of things on sublimation. You can only print on polyesters and there's a hack that lets you print on cotton. I won't get into it unless you guys really want like a it has nothing to do with makeup, but I could do a video on like making your own shirts and the various ways to do it, but four. Uh, but I don't have, I it, there's several thousand dollars, these DTF printers. That's what I really want. I want a DTF printer, but I gotta work towards that. So that is just me and the t-shirt design business and where it's going. I'm gonna go out of order and go to the image that's right beneath it because it's related to it. Five. Part of the reason I pat this in is just because it feels good. <laughs> Stimulate some blood flow to your skin on your face before you go to bed so that all your like stuff in your blood that makes skin repair itself and all that happens. Oh, but I can kind of taste it because I breathed it in. I'm going to take a moment. I'm going to take a moment. So the picture underneath that is an inspiration picture of I'm going to start doing some vendor events with the t-shirt business. And that's like a dream aesthetic. Like that's kind of where I'm at with what I want this all to look like. It's not going to look like this anytime soon because... All this stuff costs money, <laughs> like, but I'm working hard. I'm working hard, but that's kind of like the end goal aesthetic for like a vendor booth setup. But it's also there because I do have aspirations that are not going to get accomplished in 2024. They're too big for that. But I do have aspirations to have a retail space of some kind in the future. I've always thought of it as being like a a crafty maker kind of space that we can build a community of crafting artists, creative people, makers, bringing people in to either learn how to do things or to share what they know. Like I've just always had this for years. I wanted to do this. Uh, so, so that's kind of the retail side of that as well. That's kind of in my longer range plans. All right. Layer number six, cause I am still dry. Do you see this? You basically do this until your skin can't absorb any more liquid. I'm still absorbing. That was number six, right? To the left of that one, the picture of the books with a laptop, that is there for the book I want to write this year. And I mentioned this in one previous video. If you happen to see it, you're, you're the lucky one. You, you know what's going on already. Uh, let me know down in the comments. But... Um, it's kind of a, a book I want to write around the topic of courage versus confidence. I get comments very regularly from people that say they wish they had my confidence. And I understand it because I used to wish I was confident. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm an introvert. I'm sort of shy. I'm super socially awkward. Like, you name it. I've got a, a dozen different things that made me uncomfortable with, like, social interaction. And layer number seven, because we're still dry. <laughs> so I breathed it again. Don't breathe in your toner. I love having it in a spray bottle, but don't breathe it. <laughs> 
probably not good that way. It doesn't taste good. So the comment I get so often is, is I wish I had your confidence. And it's like, mm, I, well, I wish I had my confidence sooner than I do. And I understand that it can seem hard to be confident when you feel like you are either not what everyone, you know, what the standard is, or you're not where you wish you were as far as like, I'm overweight. I've, I'm not like a beauty guru, like a picture perfect anything. Like I'm a tattooed weirdo. Like I have no reason to be confident if we're going by, you know, the stereotypes and societal norms. But once you realize it's not really confidence, it's the courage to just be yourself. And you can learn that because I did learn that. I was never courageous when I was younger at all, even a little bit. I was, I was so not. And I feel like I've got some things to say on the topic. So what I want to do, because of course, in my geeky way, let's go in for layer number eight because it's still dry. In my geeky way, what I want to do is do some research on the science behind courage and confidence and weave that in with some tactics that I have learned over the years that have brought me to where I am in my state of confidence now. And I want to write a book. I want to write that book. So that's what that represents on the vision board. Do you see this? My skin is soaking this up. That was number eight, right? Maybe I will have enough time to get through all these. I didn't think I was going to take this many layers. Yeah, here we are. So the next picture is that little mini camper. Oh, I want a little teardrop camper so bad. Something I could tow behind my Jeep to go camping. Uh, but, but unlike the other picture, I don't want to sleep on the floor and I want a bathroom. <laughs> It is a dream of mine to have some kind of camper with a bathroom. <laughs> just a little one. It's just me. Like, I'm not, I don't need a big old RV, although they would be fun. Nine. But yeah, I think, what is the name of that brand? I can't think of it. But I follow them on socials and I just dream of having one of those. They're very expensive. <laughs> Again, that is not something that's going to happen in 2024. When we get to the end of the vision board, I got too much debt to go into those things right now, but uh, it is on the list of uh, things I want. We had a camper when I was a kid and well, when I was super little, my grandpa had a pop-up camper and we used to like bring it places and go to campgrounds in that. And as I got a little bit older, like 10, my grandpa bought like a, an would you call it an RV? It was a, it was like a camper, but like the kind that has a bedroom and a bathroom and a, you know, a living room and a kitchen, like a, like a, I don't know what else to call it, but it was a tow behind. And I don't even know, fifth wheel, like, I don't know the words. I still need to learn all that. But he passed away very shortly after. It was his dream to have that camper. And he passed away not long after he got it. And so my dad got it. And that became our family vacation, like, we didn't take it anywhere. We put it into one of those like permanent, semi-permanent campground type places. So we didn't pull it around. It was there, there was a lake, you know, you're, you're with a whole bunch of other campers and you know, they had like an arcade and a, and a swimming area and like a little pizza place, whatever. Layer number 10. So I grew up camping and I love it. Absolutely love it. My mom can't stand it. I love it. I love it so much. And uh, so I want one of those little teardrops that I can tow with my Jeep because just that whole mental picture of me, the Jeep I've wanted my whole life, which I finally got in 2019. Like that was a life goal. I got it by incurring debt, but <laughs> maybe not a wise financial choice. Don't follow me for financial advice. I'm not good at it. I spend my money. I spend more than my money. Uh, but I love my Jeep and it has been probably the only thing that's kept me sane in the past four years. Towing a camper that's mine, that has a bathroom. Oh, that's like a dream. So that's not likely to happen this year, but I hope it happens. 
We are still dry, y'all. No water on the face. 11. Which made me think of Stranger Things. Is that coming back soon? I think they just started filming the final season. I love that show. So beneath that, we have the scale, weight loss. I'm actually gonna talk about this more in the future since we're only like a month into the new year. I'm down 11 pounds, yay, awesome, going well. Um, but I'll have more to say about that when I get a little farther into this. Uh, you've seen me gain and lose lots of weight on this channel. I've gained and lost, well even once lockdown happened, I had gained like 30 pounds. And then as lockdown continued, I lost like 45 pounds. And then once we went back to work and back to normal life, I gained all of that back plus some, which is where I'm starting from now. You've seen me gain and lose weight all across this channel. I've, I've, it's been a lifelong struggle. I've lost a hundred pounds three times in my life. Gained it all back, obviously. Uh, and I can't even tell you how many times I've lost 40 or 50 pounds. Dozens, like literally a dozen times at least. So this is hopefully the last time that uh, going through this. Still dry, layer number 12. Did not expect to get this far. Next to that exercise, specifically squats. Uh, I like strength training. I enjoy it a lot and uh, I need to do more of it. So that's what that's for. Oh, are we getting, cl there's a hint of water not absorbing. All right, we're probably only a couple layers away from the end. Was that 12 or 13? That was 12, excuse me. My shirt's all wet. Usually I do this with just like a tank top on or my, my night top, like, like tank top stuff. Oh no, I got hiccups, please go away. <laughs> Next to the squats, let's go for good old lucky number 13. 13, yeah, 12. Oh, I already forgot, whatever lay around. Sprayed that one right in my mouth. Vegetables, just gonna eat better. That's all part of that whole thing. I just need to eat better. Although my mom always tells me my version of eating bad is like most people's version of eating pretty good because I'm vegetarian and I do eat a lot of vegetables anyway. So it's not really a vegetable thing. It's just, I need to eat better. I need to not eat pizza when I'm stressed out, you know? Then bottom left, that's actually a picture of Virginia Beach. Uh, I just picked it because I like Virginia Beach and it's easy to get to from here. It's a few hours away. And, uh, but really the goal is I need to see the ocean. I really need to go see the ocean this year. Needs to happen. Speaking of, really need to see some Ireland. I could use some Ireland in my heart right now. Now, uh, we're just gonna do number 14 because I still, when it's, when it's dripping off your face, you know you're done and I'm still not there. So Ireland, I'm not doing the study abroad this year in 2024. I'm not teaching that program, directing it, whatever. I did a video about the drama and the giant cluster that is our school's uh, international uh, management department right now. And uh, I'm not just not gonna deal with it this year. So I'm not going to Ireland for work, but I do still want to go there for myself, which means I'm gonna have to save up for it and do it on my own, which is totally fine. We're not going to do the thing in the last square of the video. I am still not soaked in. I cannot believe how far I'm getting. This is my skin. I'm dehydrated, y'all. I'm just super dehydrated. Not in my body. I've been drinking water like a fish. Do fish drink water? I don't even know. But my skin. All right, we're going to stop at 15 because I think we're at 15. And that's, that's insanity. My under eyes, do you see how they're staying wet? My under eyes are full up. But, oh, the rest of me is not. So the last square is debt-free. And no, I'm not going to reach that milestone this year. I got some years to pay off. Uh, <laughs> because, well, you know, part of it is I do spend beyond my means. It just happens. I do. 
part of it is, like when I started this YouTube channel, I'm eight years in now, and it's been break even or better for the past three, so I'm in a good place now. But the first five years, I was spending seven, eight, nine, ten thousand dollars a year on products to review. And I didn't really have that money. So I ran up some debt. And then the soap company that my business partner and I recently closed, uh, that ran up some debt that I was hoping it wouldn't have turned out that way, but that's how it turned out. And so, one moment please, I need, where's my spatula? Spatula? There it is. Uh, I haven't used this moisturizer in a while and it has, like, you know how the top gets a little bit crusty? Not crusty, but like older. All right, get that out of my way. So this one, I just found it in my drawer. The Bobbi Brown, it is the, oh, Sherlock. I can't read anything at nighttime. My eyes are getting so bad. Repair Moisturizing Balm. This one, I actually like to use this on like my elbows and stuff, but after I do seven skins, I like to do like a serious moisturizer. Like sometimes I'll do, uh, what is the one that's like, uh, like petrolatum, you know, Vaseline stuff. I can't think of the name of it. Is, does Sarah V make it? I can't remember. I like to use a heavy occlusive moisturizer to lock in this moisture overnight so that hopefully I retain the benefits of it for a little while. And I forgot about this one. So, yeah. So I was spending a ton of money on this channel, businesses, fun, trips, lots of things. Uh, but now I'm making a concerted effort to get out of debt because if my entrepreneurial dreams are ever going to come true, I need less debt. Preferably none. <laughs> oh, I gotta say though, my skin feels so good right now. <laughs> See how you can tell, like, my eyes are soaked up with water, but the rest of my face, man, it still could take more. That's so crazy. Oh, that feels so nice. It feels so nice. That is my get on ready today. That is the list of things that I am focusing on for 2024 in terms of some of my goals, some of my self-improvement. A lot of this is self-improvement. Some of it's goals, some of uh, it's, it's, a lot of it has to do with how I work and uh, I love work. So that's, it's my life. I, I am married to my work and I'm happy to be married to my work. I enjoy working in lots and lots of ways. Like that's why I have so many different things I'm into. And YouTube and businesses and, and retail and making things. The Bakuchiol cream will be restocked soon. I hope to make another batch of it this weekend. Fingers crossed that it's nice enough out because my, my maker studio is out in my garage and it's winter and it's not a heated garage. So it's cold out there. So give me a little bit of good vibes for decent weather here in Virginia. And uh, I will make up a fresh batch of that for this weekend. So yeah, what's on your vision board? Do you make vision boards? Are you into the whole vision board thing? What are you hoping to accomplish this year? Let me know, let me know in the comments. Let's chat. There you have it. I need to go edit this video and post it. <laughs> it's almost like real time, seriously. It's 7.20 right now. It's gonna be late because I'm gonna film one more video right after this. That'll be for Friday. It's been a crazy week. I'm just, I'm just glad that I am getting these videos up, even if they're a little bit late and not skipping them. So I'm like, bravo, pat on the back. Whew, it's been a, it's only week three of the semester. It's already been a crazy semester. It's okay though. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. All right, I'm going to go film one more, edit this, get it up, 
and then I'll check in the comments because I'm sure I'll be sitting right there when this goes live and you'll be right there and it'll be like we're all right here one happy family together. Let me know what is on your vision board. I would love to hear what you guys are aspiring to this year. And as always, thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over skincare with me. Yeah, skincare and visions. I appreciate your time and I hope you guys all have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. Take care of each other. Bye-bye. Thank you.